Hey guys, welcome to the channel and in this video I will be explaining you one question from tweet section of an interview bit. So this question is basically we have to do is we have to flatten the binary tree to the linked list. So as we know binary tree has uh, almost or uh, at most two children at each node. So what we need to do we are given this binary tree. So we our task is to find the flattened bind or flattened linked list from this binary tree. So if we flatten this binary tree, flatten means every node has a right child or does not have the right child, but it should follow this order. Like it will, if there is a child, it should be on the right hand side only. Okay. So as you can see in this example below also, so the flattened binary tree or the flattened link list for this binary tree is simply this one. So we just follow the in order to uh, the pre order to our cell of this binary tree and whatever result which we got, we just append to the right child of the current node, as you can see this one. So this is kind of a flattened tree, which has uh, the right child only. So this is also uh, a kind of link list. Okay, and in this case, the left child is all null. So at first glance, it will look like the binary tree only, but does not have any left child, which have only the right child. So this is also called as a linked list. Therefore, our task is to flatten this binary tree in the form of the linked list. So if we are not given any constraint on whether we have we can use any extra space or not, so we can simply solve this question by uh, traversing it in order and creating one node each for each node and simply append right to it and so on. So but this will incur an extra cost of O of N, which is the number of nodes and is the number of nodes. So without incurring any extra cost, we have to do this in place. So this is a bit of a challenge. We have to do this in place. So let's see how to solve this with the help of the example. And after that, I will show you how to code it. <coughs> Here, suppose if we take one binary tree like this, and our task is to flatten this binary tree. So what we are going to do, we will take one temporary memory which will cost us constant space because we have taken just single memory instance and what we are going to do we initialize it to minus one or any value which we want to it after that we are passing this root to our function and this temporary variable to our function and in each iteration we will call this function recursively but how we will call this recursively i will show you now first what i will do is at the first step, I will make temp to left point to the root node. After that, what we are going to do, we are shifting our temp to the temp to left. That means initially our temp to left, which is this is pointing to the root node. And what we are going to do, we are pointing our temp to this memory location now. Now, what we are going to check, we have to check that if there exists any element on the left side of the root or not. So if there exists element to the left of the root, then we are simply recurse this function with root to left element and the current temp. Likewise, we will check that if there exists any element to the right of the root or not. If there exists any element, then we will simply recurse root to right element. Along with this, we are passing the current temp. Okay. So these two conditions are executed only after this condition checks. So now we are at here, root is here. So root to left is here. So we will shift our root to this memory location from this. Okay. And what we are going to do, we are pointing th this pointer is left pointer. After this, we will make this temp to left is this one. And what we are going to do, we are shifting our temp to this memory location again. 
after that there also exist the left child of this root so we will move over to this memory location and temp to left is pointing to this root and temp is now at this location after that there exists no left element of this uh, root therefore we will backtrack at this particular two and we will move over to this particular location after that what we have we have according to this condition temp to left is pointing to it so this left is pointing to this one so these all pointers are left pointer just keep this in mind okay so temp is shifting one after another so now is temp is shifted to this memory location and the next candidate for the root is uh, this three because as you can see this 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 is traversed so next candidate is three so root is pointing to this memory location and our temp to left is pointing to this root therefore this is also left pointer after that root is pointing to the right child because there is no left child so root is pointing to this memory location and temp is currently at this memory location because we are updating temp again and again at each situation therefore temp to left is now pointing to this particular memory location so as you can see it will follow one path like this is minus one and this is initially our current temp was this after that this was one after that it was two after that it was four after that it was five and then three and then six so this was our iteration and temp was at this memory location according to our starting point after that what we are going to do we have to flatten this binary tree to the right most directions as you can see in this example also this right direction so what we are going to do we are just uh, uh, changing the pointers what we are going to do we start our time with this memory location again and we are making this point right pointers of this temp to the next node only okay so this to right is the left so what we are going to follow i will just write it down so we are following temp to right is equal to <coughs> temp to right is equal to the temp okay so if we are starting our temp from this memory location not from this okay so this right is this one this right is this one this right is this 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 so this pointers are updated accordingly so left is also pointing to this location right is also pointing to this location and we will update this left to null so this is left after that what we are going to do we again to us from this starting location and make the left pointers of all this to null which was earlier pointing to the next child so as you can see just a bit manipulation in this pointer and we will got our flat and binary tree so if this is not much clear to you so i will show you with the help of the code also so in this what we have as i have explained you the code is pretty straightforward like that only so we have this recurse function which is created by us and at each recursive call what we are going to do we are pointing temp to left to the a a is generally the route which we have taken so here this was initially the temp and we will making at each iteration temp to left to the current root okay so this is that condition only after that we are shifting temp to the uh, next location which was this this so initially our temp was at this location so we will shift this temp to this because uh, next time the value that needs to be appended is to the left of this so this was that condition after that for uh, recursively calling this function we will check if there exists any left child or not or there exists any right child or not according to that we will just recursively call this recurse function with a to left in the case of a to left is not equal to null and a to right in the case of a to right is not equal to null along with the temp value current temp value so this is a recursive call which will give us the tree in this left wise order as i have showed you in the example order so this will give us uh, give us the tree in this order after that what we need to do we simply need to make the uh, temp to again to the starting location and while temp to left is not equal to null what we are going to do we are pointing this location to this location only 
see we have to flatten the binary tree in the form of the right child only so we are pointing this to the next child and after that what we are going to do we have to again this again have to make this left pointer as null so we this loop will does this task for us at the end what we have we have our binary tree in which all the left node is null and all the pointers are to the right only so this is a kind of the flattened linked list only okay at the end what we are going to do we are going to simply return track to right track is the pointer which we are initially maintaining at the position of temp because temp is uh, changing its value again and again so we will maintain one variable track which will point to the start of this uh, linked list so hope this question is clear to you if you find any difficulty in this question just feel free to comment and i will help you thank you